Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the mid month love check in for the sign of Taurus. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus sign. So, being a general reading, obviously this will not resonate for everybody. So, please do go check out the other signs that make up your um, natal chart, as you will likely get additional messages in there. And often those can resonate even more than your sun sign. Cross watchers, if I'm speaking to Taurus and it's resonating for you, please feel free to shift the messages around as they resonate for you. And if this doesn't resonate at all, please don't make it fit. It just means I'm not tuning into your specific situation. So also guys, please do go check out the monthly general reading for November, as well as the love readings for November, as there will be additional messages in there if you haven't already done that. But you can check out the playlists I've created for you as they will have other videos there that may be calling to you. So let's see what's going on with the sign of Taurus, mid-November to the end of November-ish, 2019. So what's going on with Taurus? Five of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So here is sadness from the past, and there's communication here. Somebody wanting to come forward with an apology, somebody wanting to do something differently, but we're getting somebody who is wanting to communicate how they feel or maybe apologize, but they want to do something differently with you because there has been some sadness in the past and some regrets. So with the Two of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Empress, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Fool card. Okay, so what we have here is we have somebody who's been wanting to move the relationship forward in a new, um, like continue something that's already started. They've been at a bit of a crossroads about how to do this, what to do, what to say. There is, it's almost like they've been leaving it up to fate to just figure it out for them, but they are wanting to communicate. They're wanting the they are a little bit conflicted about it. This is not easy for them, but they've really become focused on you, Taurus, and they've put in their work. They're really honing their craft. They're getting to be, they're focused on how they're going to do this because they want to get out of this five of wands energy. But what's coming in here is with doing things differently is we do have the Empress with the fool at this st stage of the, of the reading. So there's somebody who's ready to take a risk here and embark on a new journey. And when we're getting the Empress, this is a really positive, fertile time to do this. So if you've ever wanted to do something differently when it comes to love and a certain person in your life, now is the time to do this. The Empress represents the sacred feminine, uh, the divine feminine energy. And, you know, she's very abundant. And so this change, these are the main energies, these are the supporting energies when I read the cards this way, but it's like there's been, there could have been a lot of gossip around this situation for some of you. Tell me about the five of wands and the seven of pentacles. So it's almost like there was divine timing that was at work here that may have caused you some uncertainty or some conflict. Maybe you know that someone's been waiting for this communication, but you just haven't, because you've been conflicted, you haven't actually communicated. And that's what's causing the conflict because you know that this other person deserves and, and wants that communication, but you've been so conflicted and a little confused and you're like, I don't know. I don't know. You're getting a lot of two energies here. Maybe because you're confused because of whatever's happened in the past. Taurus. What's this fool energy? And here's the emperor. This is a soulmate, guys. This is a power freaking couple with the empress and the emperor. You're ready to take the lead or someone's ready to take the lead in this scenario and go for it. They're like done it being in this energy of indecision. They know that they've been needing to do this. They've been figuring out how to do this. They're ready to do things differently than in the past. And it looks like they're going to, someone's going to take the lead and just go for it here. So let's see where you are in your headspace regarding this person. 
Queen of Wands, the Death card, and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're intimidated by this person. You are intimidated here because you want to really deeply transform this, this situation. You're trying to get your confidence going. You know that this person is really abundant and good and happy on her own. Like the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress, they're both, look at them, they're both surrounded by fruit trees. She's pregnant. She's sitting here with her cheese, her wine, her book. She's under a tree. She's really just in a beautiful place. So it's like you are seeing whoever this is in the light of they're really good and solid on their own. They've, but so you're a little intimidated but you really want to not be intimidated anymore, Taurus. Let's see where they are in their headspace regarding you, consciously. What are they consciously thinking about, Taurus? So we get the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So they know you want this new beginning, and they want this new beginning with you, but they see that you're kind of Holding it up to the heavens, like, which one is the right choice? What should I do? What should I do, universe? I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit, you know, this guy's standing here on the seesaw, and he's completely balanced. And look, but here's the cat about to throw him off balance. So something's going to make the decision for him. And well, how else are you thinking? And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you see this per this person sees you, Taurus, as the as you know, good husband or wife material with this King of Pentacles. They want this new start with you. They're not indecisive about you, but they see that you may be a little indecisive and maybe need something to push you over the edge in order to come forward here to communicate. Again, these are the main energies, so we've got two messages of communication here about how you feel and wanting to do things differently. Let's see where, um, Taurus, you are in the heart space for regarding this person. The Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. And no, guys, I don't read reversals, so please don't bother commenting that I don't read reversals. But if you, by any chance, get a message and you know how to read Tarot and you get a strong message about the reversal, please, by all means, take it. But I'm just explaining that I don't read reversals. I don't need to read reversals. My guides give me the info. Sometimes they have me keep it that way. Sometimes they don't. So I just get comments. I want you to save your time and energy on commenting about the reversals. Um, you, uh, this is how I work with my cards and my cards know it. So there you go. I can, I, I, <laughs> I have to mention it because I have to mention it once in a while recently, more often because I have a lot of new viewers and a lot of them haven't heard me say that spiel a thousand times. So I am having to repeat it a little bit more often than I have in the past, but, um, okay. So where you are in the heart space is you see this person as a soulmate. You're ready to move forward with them. You're feeling a lot of passion towards them. Definitely feeling the chemistry here with this Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. And you're really wanting things to get more, you're wanting to move, you know, you're wanting to go towards this person. You want, you might have to travel or you might be at a distance, but you're wanting to make things better. Here. You're wanting to bring things to a calmer place because you've been in this yucky indecision energy and sadness energy. You want things to, to shift. Okay, so let's see where that person is regarding you in the heart space. The lovers, the hierophant, and the chariot. Wow, three major arcanas. You know, and this is a general love reading, but I do feel like this is more for some someone you already know. But obviously with the Ace of Pentacles here, there could be a new beginning coming in with a new person for some of you. But because we're getting the sadness from the past and then we're getting the communication and the indecision, it does feel like this is somebody that you've already interacted with, Taurus. But guys, look at the cards in this person's heart space. The lovers, they know, and the Hierophant, those are like, the two cards that represent an incredibly spiritual connection. We did get the emperor and the empress. This could absolutely be the divine masculine and divine feminine. This can be a sacred union. This can be 
a twin flame connection, possibly for some of you. But at the end of the day, this is three major arcanas in the heart space. So you, this is a deeply spiritual connection here. And they want to go forward with you. They want to align and move things forward, but they might be a little bit confused as to what you want, Taurus, because you maybe you haven't communicated. You've been stuck in this indecision for a while. All right, let's um, let's wrap up here with a piece of guidance. What is your best guidance for Taurus mid month, November twenty nineteen? <laughs> We're getting it's time to take action. It's time to take action. It's time to communicate, Taurus. You know, you've been thinking about this. You've been conflicted about this. You know someone's waiting for this communication of whatever, you know, about your feelings, about apologies possibly, about wanting to do things differently, start on a new journey together. But they're saying it's time to take action, Taurus. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that was helpful. And um, until next time, guys, I send you much love. Bye.